and you look so strong out there today in, in Madison. How do you feel about your performance? Um, I'm really happy with it. You know, this season has been a little bit rough for me. I've struggled with a couple of injuries. Um, and so, quite frankly, just getting to the start line was a huge victory. Um, my training had been going really well, though, you know, so I, I had to take a few weeks off from running because of an ankle sprain um, in July. And uh, I've really only been running for eight weeks again, and that's my Achilles heel anyway. So. Uh, my swim felt great. The bike felt awesome. I love that course. Um, and I actually really love this run course, too. Um, but the big question mark was definitely the run. And I felt awesome for about the first 11 miles. Uh, and then there was a kind of long gray patch between 11 to about 19. And then I started getting a second win. So, um, you know, I, I, based on how my training was going, I thought a top three was probably feasible for me, so I'm very happy to have accomplished that goal. Um, you know, and uh, winning the whole thing would have been real icing on the cake. <laughs> um, but I know Jackie had a great day. Um, you know, hometown favorite. That's really cool to win her here. Um, and I think that's her first full uh, distant victory, yeah. And then um, I'm not actually her sure who that was in second place, but she had a really great day too. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I know, I know Beth. Yeah, actually, yeah. we're friends on Twitter. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the performance today. Now, you really like this bike course, and that is one of the most challenging aspects of this course. But how did you power through it? What was your game plan on the bike? Um, I wanted to go out conservatively. You know, everyone said have patience and. Uh, you know, if, if you push it on the bike, you're going to pay for it on the run. Um, and so the first lap, I was really conservative and just spinning nice and easy up the hills. Um, second lap, I pushed it a little bit harder, but I still felt really controlled and comfortable. Um, I, I just think the running fitness wasn't there because I haven't had the time to put it in. Um, but uh, yeah, I love that bike course. And, you know, it, it was uh, challenging and definitely engaging. Um, but I live in Utah, and so honestly, the hills weren't really that big of a deal. I like this kind of rolling hill a lot, um, and I train on some pretty long grinds at altitude, so um, the hills are actually a lot of fun for me. And people rave about, or the athletes rave about the fan support and the cheering along the course. Kind of expand on that because that makes a big difference for an athlete. Yes, it was amazing out there. Um, I couldn't believe how many people were on the Monona Terrace this morning. Running up the Helix was insane, <laughs> um, but so much fun. And then I had a, a kind of a wipeout in T1, uh, so that was thrilling. Um, that's a little bit of carpet burn. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, out on the bike course, I honestly, I didn't know what to expect crowd support wise, but the people out in uh, Verona and is it Mount Harab and then Cross Plains. I mean, that was amazing. And going up the climbs, I mean, you really felt like almost like the Tour de France, I would imagine. It was really, really cool. The crowd support is wonderful. Um, and on the run course as well. I mean, it's it's just crazy. All the people having a good time out there, you know, partying and cheering. And, and that really helps lift you to a really good performance. Well, congratulations, Podium 2013 Ironman Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you so much. <laughs>